The Samsung Galaxy S Advance is a reprise of the seminal Samsung Galaxy S. This is a precursor to the Galaxy S2 and the Galaxy S3. The S Advance has been repackaged and has a new stylized chassis as well as a repurposed dual core processor. Coupling style, performance and price, is it as good as it sounds? Let's find out. The design is more angular than the original. While the front is similar, the back has a stylized battery cover and camera mount. The 4 inch screen device is a sweet spot for many users and the Galaxy S Advance certainly affirms this, feeling great in the hand, looking good and sitting well in the pocket. The screen is 4 inches as we mentioned with WVGA resolution. It's AMOLED so it packs vibrant and bright colours with deep blacks. It's a good size for thumb typing both in portrait and landscape and while it isn't the sharpest screen out there it certainly isn't far off. The user interface is touched with 4.0, identical to the Galaxy S2. It packs Android gingerbread, so it isn't the latest ice cream sandwich. However, if you are coming from a Galaxy Ace or a Galaxy Mini, it will be instantly familiar. While it is a shame that Samsung isn't getting the latest version of Android, you do still get access to the Google Play Store, giving you apps galore, and it's very easy to use. When it comes to the camera, you've got a 5 megapixel sensor on board with Samsung's trademark camera UI. It's simple to operate and customizable, delivering good quality with strong colors and decent detail for a 5 megapixel camera. Now, it won't compete with the Galaxy S3 or the One X from HTC, especially when it comes to noise handling, but you do get a nice bright flash. Video is recorded at 720p. This offers a solid frame rate and colors and detail look decent. However, it does fall down when it comes to noise. But once again, the onboard light really does help. The Galaxy S Advance is also really well connected. It offers Wi-Fi, 3G, as well as GPS and Bluetooth, even available in an NFC variant. Expandable by up to 32 gigabytes with eight gigabytes out of the box. This means you get a well connected, decent handset that can be used as an MP3 player, for example. Performance is also smooth. The dual-core upgraded processor makes 3D games look good and the UI very, very speedy indeed. With battery lasting around a day with moderate use as well, this rounds the review off nicely. While it isn't quite the S2 spec-wise, the Samsung Galaxy S Advance is a smaller alternative with a charm of its own.